Hi there, I'm here. I'm doing a video of the Vivitar 410 digital video recorder. High definition. I'm using a mirror, so I'm in a strange position. <laughs> right, well, this is a good little camera. It's my first video camera, and uh, it has a little microphone at the top, these two little dots. On other video channels they say that this is the microphone, uh, but that's not, that's the loudspeaker. It's got an AV socket at the back side here. Now this is used for showing things on the telly, but also I'm told it can be used for a microphone and for headphones. So whether it's uh, clever enough to work all that out, I haven't tried it yet, but that's rather exciting, so I should be trying all that. There's another slot here for the SD card, which you can either have as a write speed of 4 or 6. If you want high definition, you've got to get the write speed of 6, so that's 6 in the little circle. Um, I think it takes up to 16 uh, megabytes or gig, gig of, uh, you know, you can have, have a card up to 16 gig, and I think it does about an hour. Um, it's got the flip, it's called the 180, the 180 flip, so it, the um, screen can flip around the other way. So you don't have to do a video like this uh, to actually um, film yourself. But I'm not trying to film myself, I'm trying to film the camera. So uh, the flip doesn't help on filming the camera. Um, it's got quite a few options on the screens. Um, but I suggest you leave it all on automatic and go for the default settings. I, uh, I, I put it on the highest definition um, for, for videos uh, because um, the quality can be quite rubbish. It would be quite interesting to see how the quality of this comes out because it's actually filming itself and, uh, uh, and we'll see. Um, it takes stills and and, um, and and movies and the uh, USB is quite useful because it pops out here you just push the button in uh, that side push it in and it comes up I find it quite good the only thing is when you're videoing make sure this little this little plate is stuck that back down well because any movement of the hands or that little plate flipping about or anything it tends to create a lot of noise in the microphone and noise is a problem. Um, you can get very good quality. When I was doing it in the car I got very good quality uh, with, with a sucker on the windscreen but generally doing these little videos the sound isn't particularly good so it'd be quite interesting to see how the sound on this one comes out. It seems like there's a sensor in there and when the sound level gets higher it sort of trips out and it will go bloop 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 um, not very good. The One of the disadvantages I find with it is that you have to keep buying batteries. So you need a, a, a source of cheap batteries and of course it, for videos you need quite powerful ones. Um, the Panasonic, if you get a Panasonic apparently you get a, a sort of chargeable batteries which would be far better. Um, anyway I think that's, uh, that, that's uh, all I can say about it at the moment. Um, I haven't been able to do close-up work with it yet, so maybe this will work, maybe it won't. I'm hoping that uh, I can find a way of using it for close-ups. Anyway, any questions, please put them at the bottom, or comments, or anything else, or send me videos, or anything. And uh, thanks very much for, um, for watching. Bye!